Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Good afternoon. Everything okay? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining, guys. Uh, well, it's nice meeting you. Are you ready for today, guys? This is the last class. How are you doing, Tommy? Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. Okay. Excellent. Well, listen. Um, it's almost time. Well, it's one o'clock now. I will start passing the tenants first, and then we're going to begin with what we have for today, right? Please tell me up as soon as you listen to your names. Say present, okay? Adam? Present. Thank you, Alexander? Present, teacher. Ana Silvia? Present. Okay. Carolina? Present, teacher. Okay, Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Lisette. Carlos. Dalia. Dora. Dora. I'm here, Peter. Thanks. Enrique. Hazel. Present. Great. Jeremias. Joanna. Jose Mario. Kenya. Present teacher. Lady. Present. Okay. Liliana. Present teacher. All right. Marina. Marina. Ricardo. Sandra. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, I'm here, Claudia. teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, welcome. Welcome, Claudia. Thank you for joining. I'm going to go back because I can see Claudia Lisset. I can see Dahlia too. Good afternoon. Thank you. Pre present teacher. Good afternoon. Enrique, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Teacher present. Yes, yeah, you're, you're in my list. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth. Hello. Excuse me, teacher. Thank you. Excuse me, teacher. No worries, Claudia. Yes, thank Claudia. you. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Ricardo? Sandra? What? Sarai? Sarai? Okay. Sarai? Present teacher. Thanks. Stephanie? Vanessa? Present teacher. Thanks. Anna? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Tatiana? Present teacher. Thanks. Leonel? Present teacher. All right. La Laura, sorry. Present. Here. Okay. Alba? Eric? Michelle and Edgar. Okay, well, Ricardo is here. Hello, hello, Ricardo. Hello. Good okay. afternoon. I'm here. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Who else is here? I can't mention it. I can't mention it. Okay, uh, let me see in the chat. Thank you. Oh, uh, are you ready, guys, for today? Ready for today? We have the last meeting, the last class today. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to be with you again. 
let me display the presentation and we're going to start. Okay, this is what we have for today. Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. All right. Today is Tuesday, August 17th, class number 16. And this is, well, I'll say the topics for today. We're going to discuss a little bit, you know, about the, the final exam. We're going to discuss about that. And at the same time, we're going to learn about quantifiers, okay? I will begin with the final exam because as I said in the, in the previous classes, uh, we need to um, we need to explain, we need to check the, the exam together in order to clarify some doubts, right? So I will do the, that's the first thing that I'm going to do now. I will show you the exam and I'm going to revise, revise it with you, okay? So I know that you already finished with this, with the final exam. I was wondering if somebody or someone is missing with the platform. I think everybody has finished, right? Have you finished? Completamos la, la plataforma todos ayer? O bueno, antes, antes, perdón. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Does somebody, I mean, is somebody missing? Does alguien hace falta? Espero que no, ¿verdad? Todos se han completado. Todos hemos completado. No sé si alguien se nos ha quedado. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thanks. Very good. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you so much for your dedication and in great force during this module is related to, you know, the work that you did in your, the platform, all the activities that you completed, that's really nice. And of course you were practicing at the same time, right? So that's what you have to do, keep going, keep the great work up. And whenever you have any questions, remember, just let me know. And I can give you a hand, I can give you some support, right? Okay. Better to the platform, I'm gonna go to the platform because I'm going to, um, we're going to revise the, the, the final exam right now and you are going to help me. You are going to help me with this part. Okay, let's go with this first. Vamos a, a discutir un poco el examen. Vamos a ir revisando cada uno de, los, de las secciones y, eh, y ejercicio, ¿verdad? Y bueno, eso tenemos que hacerlo. Para el facilitador, se nos pide que, que revisemos y verifiquemos el examen, ¿verdad? Con todos acá. Es que vamos a hacerlo ahorita. Sé que ayer estuvieron completando algunos, terminando lo, lo que nos hacía falta y pues creo que ya la mayoría hemos finalizado, ¿verdad? Eso es muy bueno. Eh, felicidades a todos. Y sé que hemos hecho un buen esfuerzo y eh, tiempo hemos ido practicando y aprendiendo nuevas cosas. Y vamos a seguir primero acá con el final exam. Oh, thank you, Eric. No worries. Thank you for joining, Eric. Good afternoon. How are you? Excellent, teacher. Thank you. Okay. ¿Qué más se acaba de unir? Aprovechando. Hello, Eric. Bueno, continuamos. Vamos a discutir un poco el examen ahorita. Y la primera parte fue de listening. ¿Cómo subió la parte de listening? ¿Cómo la sintieron? Easy, teacher. Easy, ok. ¿No tuvieron alguna dificultad en ese ejercicio? No, teacher. Ok. No, teacher. Excellent. Well, the instructions were listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So you were supposed to listen to the conversation, uh, listen carefully, 
And then you were supposed to complete the sentences with the correct form, right? With the correct answer in this case. We had just four, right? Just four. We're going to listen to the, the conversation, okay, together. And then I'm going to ask you for these statements, right? We're going to complete them. In a second, I forgot to include the, the, the sound. And please let me know if you can listen to the conversation. We're going to start. I will, I will play the audio and tell me if you can listen to it. But then I'm, I will do this. Tell me about your family. Can you listen to the conversation, the audio? Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Listen carefully. Listen carefully, and then I will ask you to help me, right, with the statements. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. <laughs> That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay. Those are the conversations. So you listen to the audio, right? To the conversations, and then you are supposed to complete these statements. As you can notice, you listen to the conversations. Well, actually, we have four conversations, right? And we have one statement for conversation. Number one. Catherine has what was the answer? Do you, do you remember? Seven. 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 Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Okay. Seven. All right. Uh well, let me see. Just in a second. Good afternoon. Jose Mario and Michelle. Thank you for joining. Welcome. How are you guys? Can you hear me? Uh, Samario and Chad? Yes, teacher, te escucho. Okay, thank you for joining us, Samario. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, thank you. What about Michelle? Well, right now, listen, in the meantime, Right now we're having the, the, the final exam. We are revising this together because we need to do so. As facilitators, we need to uh, show you the, the exam and of course the answers, right? Joe, hello, how are you? Hello. <coughs> hello, teacher. Hello, thank you for joining. How are you? 
I have a little cup. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I hope you feel better. Thank you for joining. Thanks. Anytime, anytime. Okay, this is the first. This is the first part of the final exam. Listen it, the listening section. We already listened to the conversations. Now we are completing. You're helping me. You're telling me the answers, right? That you got in when you do when you when you did it, right? The first one, Catherine has seven brothers and sisters, right? In total, right? So we're giving the total. Uh, she said that she has four sisters and how many brothers? Three brothers. Three brothers. So in total, they have, I mean, she has, sorry, seven brothers and sisters. So that is a total. Okay, number two. Nowadays, Mar is living with a friend. With a friend. With a friend. Okay. Where does he live? Where does he live? Does he live in a, at home or does he live in an apartment? In an apartment, yes. So he's living in an apartment with a friend. Yeah, that's number two. Number three, Sharon usually goes to the gym. Three times a week. But again? Three times a week. Three times three three time time a, a week. Three times a week. Okay. Three times a week. And the last one, some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are in school, have one child, or are working abroad. Are working abroad. Are working abroad. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's check it out the answers. Absolutely. Those are the answers. Yeah, yeah very good. We, we did it. We did it. Good. That is the first part. Good. Let's go with the second part, letter B. So, letter B is about complete the conversation. So you were supposed to complete the sentences with do, does, or would. Only that, do, does, or would. Let's begin. We have, as you can see, two parts. Number one, you like to see a movie tonight. Sure, what time does it start? What do you think? Wool. Wool. Wood. Good. Okay, wood. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. What time does it start? Number two. Oops, I think do. I leave a space. Do. Yeah, I leave a space. Uh, yeah, do. In the yes. second. <clears throat> do you like? Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Number three. What kind of music? Das. 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 Does your friend Ricardo like rock and classical, I think? That is the first conversation. Let's go with the second part. You have to complete the following conversations. Use the present continuous of the verb. So now you have to use present continuous. And I remember that you were asking me about this last week, about these exercises. So we will do it together now. Remember, you have to pay attention to the conversations. They have a sequence. Esas son conversaciones y tienen una secuencia, ¿verdad? Son mini conversaciones. Eh, number one, how is your sister? So the verb is study. What is the, the way? Is she studying? Is she studying? Is she studying? Exactly. These days. That is a question. You can identify here, right? That is a question. Letter B. No, she isn't. She? Working. 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 She is working. Yes. He is working. He is working. working. Absolutely. Number two, is that David over there? Who? Who is he waiting? Waiting. Who is waiting? Who is, is waiting? he waiting? Who is he waiting for? Is he waiting is for? He exactly. What is he waiting for? And the last one, his girlfriend, Maggie. She? She is coming. 
Exactly. Well, let's see. Let's check it out. Definitely, as you can see, will do pass. Is he starting? Is he waiting for? And he's coming. Those are the answers. Very nice. Any questions to this part? I mean, do you have a do you have a problem with this section? No. 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 Okay. Alguien tuvo algún problema acá? No. Okay. No, teacher. Good. Yeah, let's go with letter C. Multiple choice. Instructions. Choose the correct word. Tenemos que teníamos que escoger la palabra correcta. You can see we have just three, just three statements. And we have multiple choices. J does every morning before breakfast. What do you think? Yoga. 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 Okay, yoga. So the options are yoga, football, and jogging. Okay. Number two, how often do you swim in the summer? Go, do, or play? Go, go, go. Go, go, go swimming. Go. Okay. Number three, I, I'm sorry? Number three, I sometimes play with my friends in nice skating, baseball. aerobics, or baseball? Baseball. 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 Okay. Baseball. Very nice. Well, those are the three exercises for part C. Let's check it out. Absolutely, those are the answers. Very nice. Let's go with the last section, guys, of the final exam. So this is letter, well, letter D specifically. Reading. So instructions, you were supposed to read the article and then you check the correct answers, right? This is the article. Right, the article. Article. And here you have the, the statements with the multiple choices, right? So this was the article, and you were supposed to read about this, right? Audrey Lauto, right? That is uh, the person in the article. We're going to read it a little bit, and then we're going to complete the, the statements, right? I need you to help. I need you to listen to me, follow the reading. It says, Audrey Toto is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978, Audrey is born in Belmont, France. 1980s and 1990s, Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize best newcomer for her acting on French TV, 1999. 2000, 2002. Audrey acts in many movies, including Bajol's Bajol, 2000. Then she plays a young woman called Emily in a movie of the same name. Emily 2001 is in French, but the film is a big international hit. National hit, sorry. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great. I'm not 2002. 2003. Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me, he loves me not. She also acts in very pretty things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. So that was the article about Audrey, Audrey. And then you were supposed to complete the statements based on the article, okay? The, the statement says, the statement says, sorry, in high school, Audrey Toto acts. The options were in plays, on television, in, in movies. What was the answer? In plays. In, in plays. Okay, in plays. I have a question. Yeah. 
uh, when when say when they say place, it means like a theater. Like a. Como una obra de teatro, no. Exactly, exactly. Pero porque no, pero porque no especifica que es una obra de teatro, es porque es el inglés británico. This is the way uh, they call them, like obras de de teatro, de teatro, como decimos. Place. It, that's that's that's, a, that's a, the term. I, I don't I don't remember how how say. It. I I remember how write, but not how say it. The, theater. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero yeah, porque no especifica theater eh, aquí, sino que dice place, porque yo cuando lo leí me imaginé que era teatro, pero como recordé la parte donde nos ha explicado que algunas palabras se usan diferente en Inglaterra, ¿verdad? En el yeah. británico. Yes. Es por eso que está como place. No, no, no necessarily. In this case, a place that is the term that people use in order to refer to that. What is the teatro? Place. Mm -hmm. We call them like this, just place. Como una obra. Exactly. Exactly. For example, Romeo and Juliet. Ah. So this is this is a play. This is a play. Uh -huh. Una obra, como se lo mencionó, obra de teatro. Uh -huh. Ah. Yeah, it's a play. En vez de decir, en vez de decir esto, eh, participó en teatro, participó en obras, entonces se usa place, play. Play or place, it depends if you want to refer to, in general, right, or in many plays. Right here, right? Eh, let me see, Audrey acts in place. Many plays, many plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the term that eh, English uses. That's the term in English, place. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for asking. Number Thank two, you. you're welcome. Many Americans like the movie. The options, Joe's, <laughs> Yell, Emily, and God is Gray. I'm not. Which one? I listen to okay. Michelle. You say, Emily, right? Yeah. Emily, okay? Emily. Number three, she acts in three movies in. 2001, 2003, 2002. 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. Okay. Let's 2003. go back. 2003. Yeah, 2003. Audrey acts has a big year. Sorry. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me. He loves me not. She also acts in very, very things. Those are the three movies. In her movies, she usually speaks English, Spanish, or French. 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 Yeah, because at the end we can infer, we can infer that this is the first time he, she speaks English in a movie. So it was at the end, right, of the, her career. Okay, let's check it out. The answers. Yeah, as you can notice, those are the answers. In place, Emily, 2003, and French. Okay. Oh, well, that was basically the final exam, right? That you did last week or probably yesterday. All right. Any questions? Estamos teniendo, bueno, estamos revisando el examen ahorita. Ya que... Nos pide, gracias, thank you. Se nos pide a lo, a, como facilitadores que revisemos con ustedes el examen o cualquier cosa que haya alguna duda y podamos ir pues, revisándolo poco a poco. Cualquier cosa, si han tenido algún, alguna dificultad con algún ejercicio específico, pues lo podemos aclarar acá. Porque ese fue básicamente el examen final, no sé si. ¿Alguien más tiene algún comentario, alguna duda? Yeah. Okay, that was the first part about the final exam. And I have the other topic, which is quantifiers. Okay, this is the last class, remember, class 16. Let's begin. Let me show you the quantifiers. 
the quantifiers. Let's go. Well, that was the, that was the first part, the final exam, All right? Now let's go with the quantifiers. When do we use quantifiers? Well, these quantifiers are, are used at the beginning of noun phrases, okay? But it can vary the way we, we place them, right? right? Right here, we're going to see how we use them in sentences and they are placed at the beginning of the sentences. Okay? They accompany a noun phrase, okay? And they are used to express an amount or a degree of something. So you can say a big quantity or you can say a small quantity. So it depends. And of course we have some percentages over here, right? And they represent that, the degree, the degree of something. You can have the 100% at the top and at the bottom, at the bottom we can have the 0%, okay? So at the top, a 100%, we have all. That is the first quantifier. That is the first expression of quantity, all. And we, we accompany this quantifier with a noun. So we can say all families have only one child. That is the first one, okay? But then we can continue, we can decrease. Let's say the percentages. Probably next we have the 90%. Nearly all, nearly all, nearly all families have one only child. Have only one child. Then we continue, let's let's continue decreasing. We have moss. So let's say the moss have a what? An 80%, an 80% moss. We can say most families have only one child. Then we continue. We go up and we have many. Many can have like 70%, 70%. And we can say many families are smaller these days. Many families are smaller these days. Then we have a lot of, a lot of can have like 60%. No, sorry, 70%, 70%. And we can say a lot of families are smaller these days. 70%. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Hello, hello. Okay, no worries. 70%. Okay. A lot of Families are smaller these days. Well, then we have, it, it can vary, right? It can vary. So, you know, it can be like 70, around the 60, 50. But, you know, when we say 50, so it can be like some, right? Some families are smaller these days. So it depends, it depends on the scale, on the scale and the percentages. Some, in a lot of, they are in like, 50, 60, right? Some families are smaller these days. Then we we are we continue decreasing and we get like, I would say 30%. Not many couples have more than one child. 30%, 30%. Uh, we are in that average, let's say from 20 to 30, not many, not many. Then we can have a, with a 10%, let's say the 10%, the 10%. So it can be few, few. Few couples have more than one child. And at the end, we have the 0%, no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, that is the last. Quantifier. And as you can see, this one is a noun. This is the subject. No one. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay? Those are the quantifiers. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, 
you? No one. No one. Okay, and we need to have in mind those percentages. That's the way we use it, right? So questions right here? Any questions right here, sorry? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Let me give you all the examples. Oh, before to give you the examples, I just want to express it. Express this. Listen, most of the times in these quantifiers, these quantifiers are accompanied by countable nouns. Do you remember countable nouns? Can you tell me some countable nouns? Can you tell me countable nouns? Tell me. For example, people, family, children, A government, army, class, apples, computers, etc. Those are countable nouns. Those are nouns that we can count. We can count. We can say one family, two families, three families. We can say one class, two classes, three classes. Decision. We can say one decision, two decisions. The decisions, those are countable nouns. Knowing that, knowing that, we use these countable nouns with these specific quantifiers. Quantifiers. Okay. For example, we can say all participants. From module pre intermediate one completed completed the class one. Okay, so this is the, the quantifier, and the quantifier is accompanied by a noun phrase. This is a noun phrase. This is a noun phrase. Participants from module pre intermediate one, that is a noun phrase. Okay. All participants from module pre intermediate one completed the platform. Okay. So we can say we can have more, more examples. Moms, families have. Say in one house, one house. Most families have one house. This is a, a quantifier. So it accompanies the noun families. So they are together. They are together. Another example a lot of. You can say a lot of. A lot of. People eh, got COVID nineteen vaccine. A lot of people, a lot of people got the COVID nineteen vaccine. Well, I would say in a impression, right? Get, get a lot of people get the COVID nineteen vaccine. With some, remember some it tend to tend, tends to have like fifty percent, fifty percent. I can say some um, couples, some couples get married at the age of what? Let's say twenty five. Twenty five. Okay. 
from couples. So this is a quantifier. And this is a noun. So the quantifier is next to the noun. Another one we can say, you, you will say employees go to the meeting. Few, so and that, is, that has the 10%, 10%. Let's say the percentage is here. This one has a 100%. This one was said like 80%. A lot of, but this one can be like, let's say 70%. Some, this one can be like 50%. If you, this one can have like 10%. And then we have the 0%, which is no one. We can say no one, no one, let me see, no one. Um, has completed the survey yet. So no one. This one has a 0%. This means nobody, nobody, nobody. Let's change the idea. I will say nobody has completed the final exam yet. Nobody, no one, 0%. Okay, so these are some other examples, guys, for the quantifiers. This is the way we use them. Any questions right here? Tell me. Questions, teacher. Okay. Again, quantifiers express an amount or a degree of something. Okay. That's where we use quantifiers. Somebody else? Questions? Preguntas acá? Dudas? No question, teacher. No, teacher, no question. Okay. Moving on to the following part, and we're going to practice with quantifiers. What I want to do is this. Look at the exercises provided. In your notebooks, I need you to complete them using quantifiers. I need you to rewrite the sentences using quantifiers. Then compare with your partner, in this case with the class, right? I give you these statements. You have to use the same statements, but you need to change some ideas, okay? For example, let me give you the first one as an example. Okay, I will give you the first one as an example. Number one says, in the US, 69% of high school students go to college. So we need to change one idea and we need to use a quantifier. We can say, in the US, a lot of high school students go to college. So we change this percentage. This percentage, we include a lot of. In the US, we have the same idea. In the US, a lot of people, a lot of high, high school students, sorry, go to college. So we change only this idea. The percentage, and we need to use a quantifier, a lot of. That's what we have to do. So we need to continue with the other ones, with number two, number three, four, and five. As you can see, they have different percentages. Uh, I need you to read them, read them carefully, and then you're going to complete them in your notebooks. Number two, for example, says 7% of the people in Brazil are age 65 or older. Number three, in India, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. Number four, 40% of the people in Sweden live alone. And the last one, in Canada, 22% of the people speak French at home. 
That's what you have to do. Okay? Please follow the example and complete the other ones. Vamos a escribir las mismas ideas, pero vamos a cambiar una, una idea o una palabra. Es decir, vamos a utilizar un quantifier. Vamos a seguir el ejemplo y vamos a, a continuar con las otras en nuestro cuaderno. Completarlas, reescribirlas y utilizar un quantifier. Teacher, ¿podría poner yeah. otra vez la pantalla de los quantifiers? Sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. you can take a screenshot if you want. No. Yes. Has everybody taking the picture or the screenshot? Vamos a la captura o la foto? Yeah, yeah. gracias. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Anytime. Okay. Let's start. I will give you some time. Please complete the other ones, number two, three, until number five. And as soon as we finish, we're going to complete the exercise together. Let's go. Se pregunta, se hagamos, por favor. Hagamos preguntas. Any questions? No, I'm ready. Good, thank you. Done, teacher. Thank you. Finish teacher.
Okay, uh, number one, we said in the US, 69% of high school students go to college. So you are supposed to change uh, the percentage specifically, and you have to you have to use a quantifier. So if you rewrite the sentence, the idea in this case is in the following way. In the US, a lot of high school students go to college. Okay. That is number one. Let's go with number two. Hey, I think somebody do want to participate? No, so lo que preguntar que solo el porcentaje el que cambia. I'm sorry? Solo el porcentaje el que cambia. ¿Por qué cambia? Oh, okay. It's because you can you can use if you want to express an amount or you want to express a degree of something. Uh, Jose Mario, you can change the percentage and you can use an expression of quantity. Okay. Uh, okay. This, yeah, this is an expression of quantity or quantifier. So you can change it and you can, you can uh, say this in another way. So you cannot say or you can avoid using a, a percentage, right? It, it is good if you use percentages, like 69%, right? But if you want to change it, you want to replace it, you can use a quantifier. You can say a lot of. A lot of high school students go to college. Yeah. Yes. Podemos, podemos reemplazarlos. Podemos reemplazar esos porcentajes, por ejemplo. Y podemos utilizar una expresión de, de cantidad. Una expresión de cantidad en ese caso. Para poder variar un poco, ¿verdad? Poder variar un poco. Muchas veces eh, la, utilizamos esas expresiones de cantidad, como mucho, poco, etc. Algunas personas. Okay? Por eso lo intercambiamos a veces. Ok. Number two. It says, 7%, I will listen to Dora, 7% of the people in Brazil are age 65 or older. Dora? Uh, uh, I participate in number three sentences. Oh, okay, 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 nice. No worries. Uh, I think Soraya with number two. Seven of the people in Brazil are against 65 or older. Repeat again with the quantifier. Fail. Few. 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 Yes. Few. 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 Oh, okay. Few yes. of the people. Few. I'm sorry, but again. Let's go again. Sorry. Sorry. Few. Few of the people in Brazil are again 65 or older. Okay. Yeah, the, the quantifier is correct because it says 7%. And as, as we said previously in the table, so few has like 5%, 10%, 10%, yeah. So it varies, right? It varies. In this case, yeah, few. Just one thing, Soraya, you have to omit off. So you say just few people. Few people uh, in Brazil. In Brazil? Uh -huh. Are yeah. in Brazil uh -huh. are, are age, age, age 65, 65 or older or older. Yeah, very good. So this is a quantifier. Few people. So we omit seven percent of the people. I mean of, of the we omit that and we say just few people. Few people. Yes. Thank you, Soraya. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Uh, anytime. Dora, I think you want to help us with number three. In okay. India, 0% of the people... Wait a minute. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. In India, no one of the people vote before the age of 18. Yes. Pretty good. That is a quantifier. That's good. Because it has 0%. No one. When you say no one, when you say no one, 
um, everybody, when we use no one, it is not necessary to include a noun. So this one goes alone. So we cannot meet people in this case because when we say no one, we are referring to people. No one, you can say, let me see, sorry. No one votes before the age of 18. So in this case, we omit people because when you say no one, you're referring to people. But in this case, nobody, right? Nobody. Nobody. No one votes for the age of 18. So we need to omit all this part. All this part. And you have to use no one. I'm sorry, I forgot to include in India. No one. No one votes before the age of 18. So this one, it is not accompanied by a noun because the quantifier Excel is a noun. In this case, we no use a substantive, no lo acompaña. Because ese quantifier, esa expresión de cantidad, is a la vez es un sustantivo. Entonces, no, no es necesario agregar people. Porque si decimos no one, es decir, decimos nadie, nadie. Okay, okay that, thank you, teacher. But, but that is the answer, thank you. Number four, 40% of the people in Sweden live alone. Yeah, I think Susana wanted to help me. Susana? Number four. Number four. Puede ser. Few? Few, but few has oh, a, not many. Not many. Can be. Can be not many. Yeah. Or some. Can be some. 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 Yeah, you can use not many. It's okay. Not many. Or some. But I will I will use some because that one has like 40 from 40 to 50. Money of the people in Sweden living alone. Live okay. Alone. All right, do you use some? This or some? Or not many? Some. Okay, some. some. Yes. Exactly. Thank you, Susanna. Some people in Sweden live alone. Some people in Sweden live alone. Exactly. Okay, the last one. Volunteer for the last one. In Canada, 22% of the people speak French at home. Uh, teacher, you puse a few in Canada, people speak French. Mm, but like in that case, eh, Sandra, it has a, the, the 22%. Remember that few has like from five to, I would say, 15%. This is a sum. It can be some, or I would say it is between not many uh, or not some. Many. Not, not many. Not many, yes. Exactly. In Canada, not uh, many. No. Yeah, sorry, tell me. Uh -huh. Not many? Not many. In Canada, people speak French. Okay. Uh, in, in Canada, not many people. Speak French at home. At home, okay. Yeah, it's like that. Pretty good. Well, guys, this is the way we use a uh, quantifiers. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. I don't understand because not not many. Maybe few. No. Few um, can be, can be few. Yeah, if, but you know, when we say few, you know, not many and few, right? We have some here. 
So imagine that some has like from 40 to 50%, 50 percent, 50 percent. Not many, let's say that this one has from, from 20 to 30 percent. Uh, and few, it can be like from five probably to 30 Damn. percent. So this can be like. For eso is not many. Not many, yes, not many. Thank you. Not many, yes, no worries. Okay, any questions, everybody? Preguntas acá? No, it's okay. Okay. No, teacher, no question. Thanks. Well, everybody, we're going to start right here because it's 2 o'clock. Um, well, it has been a pleasure to be with you, to work with you during these 16 classes. And I have learned a lot from you. And I hope I hope you can learn uh, new things in this module, right? And remember, please don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, continue working like that. And I know that you can do your best. Do your best every single day. Make great efforts. Keep the great work up. And remember, practice. Practice a lot because that's the most important thing. I know that you are you are still in process, and of course you can you can accomplish what you want. You can accomplish your goals. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope I could see you soon in a new module. And again, it has been a, a great pleasure to be with you. Okay. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. Muchas gracias por todo, por su tiempo, paciencia y por su dedicación y participación en cada clase. Y recuerden, hay que seguir pues, en el camino, hay que seguir en el proceso eh, de seguir aprendiendo mucho más y practicando. No olvidemos que la práctica es un maestro, así es que hay que seguir practicando. No dejar de practicar. Más en ese tiempo que vamos a estar, por decirlo así, un, un tiempo en pausa porque la fecha ahorita es tentativa para el inicio de, del próximo módulo. Es que sigamos practicando con esos temas que hemos visto y estar listos para el próximo módulo que va a dar inicio pronto. Esperamos que sea pronto. Estar atentos, pendientes de las redes sociales, en este caso de los medios de comunicación, correo y WhatsApp. Cualquier cosa se, se les está informando acerca del inicio del próximo módulo. ¿Okay? Nuevamente, muchas gracias. Ha sido un placer trabajar con ustedes. Eh, son muy buenos participantes. Sé que eh, hacen su esfuerzo, su, más, su mayor esfuerzo en ese caso, para poder aprender, ¿verdad? Poder aprender muchas cosas más y poner en práctica lo aprendido, ¿verdad? Entonces, que, gracias, muchas gracias. Espero verlos pronto en otro módulo. Thank you so much, ¿ok? Well, everybody. Thank you, yeah. Thanks, teacher, Gracias, so much. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, anytime. You are a good teacher. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you. Same to you. God bless you. God bless thank you. you. And you. thank you for your words. Have a good day. Stay thank safe. You. And I hope I can see you soon. Okay. Likewise. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.